What's up YouTube? Here I am today with a real different type of video and I'm going to teach you how to play classic games on your Fire Stick or your Fire TV. Okay, so here's just some proof of me playing. I'm going to set to the side so it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But, you know, here's the A button and back, forward, everything like that. There's just some proof. So the very first thing you want to do is create a OneDrive. I'm not really going to tell you how to do that. You just make a Microsoft OneDrive account so you can put files onto it. So right now I'm just looking at my OneDrive. You know, I have a couple files right here, which is actually what we're going to be downloading. Both of them right there. Just a couple, for example. And then I just have some pictures mixed in here. You know, my car, some cloud goggles, stuff like that. But, you know, it's just a general thing. But first, you need to set that up. So once you have that set up, you're going to look up uh, an emulator, which is basically a thing that's going to run the game you want. So which one I got was the Nostalgia NES. So whenever you look these up, you want to look up like for an APK, which is an Android file, which these run. So Nostalgia NES as soon as you see it, APK right there at the top you know so you get this and you I went with this one or no I didn't I actually went with this first one because it's the APK download you don't want the Google Play because that's going to be trying to download it for a phone or something so you just get it from here this is where I got it for an NES but if you want to play SNES or whatever you just need to look up SNES emulator APK anything like that like kind of just do it and then you download this file all you do is download it I have it downloaded no there's not a virus I have it sitting on here um, just don't feel like installing it for a sake of time so once you get that you want to come into your OneDrive and you want to click new or I'm sorry, you want to click Upload, and then Files, and you're going to click that file, the APK file, and you're going to drop it right there. Then once you got that, you want to get a game. So I went with Super Mario Bros. NES. So you just Google what game you want ROM, and then you're going to move that into your OneDrive the same way as you did with this one right here. So once you have both of those, you're set on the computer. You can go exit out of here get out of there so now we're actually to the fire stick you're gonna come all the way up here and you're gonna go to your settings you're gonna go to your device right here developer options you're gonna turn both of these on you're not gonna need uh, it's not gonna be debugging or anything crazy like that you're just getting an app but you want to turn both on just for the sake of it so then once you have that done, you're going to go in here and you're going to you're going to go to your search in up here and you're going to type in ES file explorer which is right here installed you see ES file explorer chilling right there. Click on it and I'm in it. So once you have this going, you're good to go. Now, I actually did this on my phone. I used my phone as a controller while I did this because it makes it much easier, honestly. So once you're here, you're going to click new or not new. I'm sorry. You're going to I got to close this to be at the home menu and everything. Close this. Go to my home. You're going to come down here to new when you're at this home menu right here. You're going to say web. Keep it like like how it is. You know, I gotta focus a little better. HTTP web, and then the path you're gonna go to is whoop, one around W key, OneDrive. So now I accidentally skipped over a part on here, but. You get the idea. So once you're on the OneDrive site, it's going to say a lot of stuff. And it's going to say, click here to sign up. 
you're still going to click that even if you have an account. Um, then you're going to scroll down and press sign in. It's just because it's hard to get to sign in by playing with this. There's really no system to this whatsoever. You just click around a lot. So you're going to scroll through here and you're going to go to your emulator first. So Nostalgia NES emulator is mine for example. So you kind of just click around. You're going to just keep on going over. I mean you just keep, keep pressing whatever you got to. Kind of go up. And go back down. And then eventually you're going to be able to get to the side menu. You want to get to the side menu is your goal. That's why I kept on messing with it. You're going to go down to the bottom. You're going to click more in the bottom right. And then after that, you're going to scroll down to open and browser. Then it's going to start downloading this. So, you know, it says download fail because I've actually already installed this, which is not a big deal. I've already done it. So that's the only reason it didn't. So once you get that, press OK. So you're in there. So now you should, you're going to use ES file downloader to download it once that message pops up. And, I mean, you're cool. You're literally in there. You got, you got the file you need. You have the emulator. So you want to just install from there. I mean, that's all there is to it. And then... This is being super annoying now. It won't let me actually come back down here for some reason. So I cleared it and then I came back up here and then I'm clicking on my game that I want to download. So I'm going to press a circle on that and select it. This actually just opens up for me. I, I don't know if it's because it's an APK. Um, and I just went up here to the top and I pressed download right there. Now it failed again because I already have this installed. And then you're going to press OK. Then from there you're fine. Like you literally, you're just set. You don't have to worry about doing anything else from here. You got to go back home. You're going to come down here. You're going to go to your apps and games. See all. You find whatever emulator you just got. I got NES Nostalgia. Click on that bad boy. It says failed. Whatever. You press back. Search device for ROMs if it's not popping up instantly and then click on your game so you know click on the game you just installed now mine is loading up instantly and you have all this going for you but if you so you need to set up your controls when you first get here I came up to the top preferences this is gonna be different on everything but if you're trying to do the NES then you just got to play with this you scroll down a lot Select gamepad profile, edit gamepad. So I edited my gamepad, made it work. Pretty self explanatory